What is a concrete cold joint or a cold joint in concrete? It's probably a term that you've heard, but if you don't work with concrete, you might not be familiar with what it means. Basically, what it means is anytime you have some existing concrete that's already actuated, it's already hard. It's no longer a powder and water, two different things that we're going to add together and make a mortar paste and add sand aggregate and gravel. It's already done all that. We've got a finished product here. But wait, there's a problem. We want this to be longer or we want this to be taller or any other thing. Well, now we need to add some more concrete or mortar here. We are going to have a cold joint between the new stuff that we add and the existing stuff. That is what a cold joint is. Anytime that you finish concrete and you allow it to actuate, it hardens, it's done. If we come back with some more liquid state concrete and apply it on here, we have a cold joint, a plane for del delamination between the two layers. Interestingly, there's only one situation that I'm aware of where you can ever have concrete where you add new to old where there is not a discernible cold joint between the layers. That is through gunite or shotcrete applications, which is to say, I always describe it as a shoulder mounted concrete cannon because it aptly describes exactly what's happening here. But basically when applied through high velocity, you can apply new concrete to old concrete, which under laboratory conditions, there is no discernible cold joint between the layers. Very interesting not applicable to the average do-it-yourself or, or benchtop level, you're not going to be able to achieve that kind of a velocity if you're applying new concrete to old, but that is a tip. If you ever do need to apply new concrete to old, if you're able to do it with some velocity splatter happening there, that's actually gonna help you quite a bit to impregnate the aggregates and the cement into the old layer and help to, let's say, minimize the cold joint between the layer. But I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.